wonderful. Let's lift our voices and pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Thank you so much. Let's all pray. Just a moment of prayer. A moment of prayer. Lift your voice and pray. 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 Makopoko <laughs> Mande kata, kende chetena, rikoma kuzatahaya Shabosa mande kaya, kipo koko kutaya Mika makuza, Yes, let us celebrate the King of Kings Lord of Lords, Mighty God Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace Let's put our hands together for him Ah, you can do better. That's for Jesus. That's for Jesus. Thank you. Greet somebody next to you as you take your seat. It is yet another beautiful day. We are thankful to God for such a moment as this it is all by his grace that we are here and for that we are thankful you have an opportunity today let us deal with matters of life What answers are you looking for? Do you have, have you been searching for answers? Have you been searching for an answer? Matters of life. How has been your week? How has been your month? How has been your year so far? I know we have thousands of people who can't wait to have a meeting with me. And yet, this is the opportunity. It's a one-on-one. -on -one talk to me, I talk to you, matters of life, where do you need help? Can I be of any help to you today? Uh, you just make sure that your questions are short so that the answers are also short. Thank you, men of God. Thank you so much for preserving my life. Thank you so much for loving me when I thought that no one can love me. Thank you so much for being everything in my life. Thank you, my father and my mom. My question is, Father, is there any way that whatever that I desire or whatever that I write down or what I think of doing in life, in a way go to sit here fast for the sake of my future and my children and some of my relatives that I have to watch over. All right. Uh, 
All right. You want things to happen faster. Yes, ma'am. Things like what? Father, you can see that you are trying hard some of the things and nothing is moving. And financial breakthrough, because some of my family members, like my little brothers and my sister, they will be looking upon me. And if I'm not helping them, they will think that our sister, Vati Rasa, of which you know things are not okay for you. Financial breakthrough, Baba. So how many of you here can say that your things are not going as, as fast as you would want them to go? Ah. Ah. <laughs> what do you people consider to be fast? What is fast in terms of business? Is there a stipulated time frame? What is it that you are doing? At what point can you say this is very, very slow and this is fast? Yes, sir. Say, for example, you have worked on a particular deal and you want to now conclude it and then the time it is taking, it's a bit uh, longer to come to fruition or to come to realization. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's taking longer than expected. Ah. So there is an expected time. There is a time frame to the business and it's taking longer than the time expected. The reason why I asked if we have people here with that same problem, it is so that when I'm helping one person, I'm helping a lot of people at the same time. <clears throat> have you people looked into the life, the lives of let's say two significant people in the Bible, the life of Jesus and the life of his forerunner, John. All of us, we know that Jesus, our savior, our master, was here for 33 years, right? And his ministry from beginning to end lasted only for how many years? Three. And what was he doing for 30 years? His ministry, which lasted for three years, was strong, powerful. The impact is, is amazing. It lasted not only for three years until now his ministry still keeps going on. But what did he do within the 30 years where there was dead silence, nothing was going, nothing was moving, what was he doing? This brings us to a very important, even when we talk about John, John, the Bible says he was in the wilderness until the time of his showing to the people. So I think majority of us, we overlook moments of isolation, times that God would give, give to us so that before we start working on our businesses, we should have had enough time to work on ourselves. Luke 1, verse 8. 
Luke 1 verse 80. Uh -huh. And the child grew mm -hmm. and waxed strong mm -hmm. in spirit and, in, and was in the deserts. He was in the deserts. Now describe the deserts, from desert to desert, dryness to dryness, barrenness to barrenness. Yet there was the destiny of this child was overwhelming. But he had to be taken to a place of dryness from one place to another, to another, to another, to another. Mm. Until when? Till the day of his showing unto Israel. That's the day of manifestation. It was from desert to another desert, to an, from one company to another company. From, until the day, there is the day of the showing, the day of the manifestation of such a son to the people of Israel. But what we usually don't take seriously as people are those moments. Jesus would withdraw himself from the people. Wherever he would go, he would derive power from those moments of isolation. And then when he comes back, he does wonders. What are you doing in those quiet moments before the breakthrough comes the breakthrough that you're talking about breakthrough 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 remember we told you once you have the keys there's no more need for what for a breakthrough you won't break you, you don't need to break the door when you have the keys unless the keys are not working yeah unless the keys that you have are not the right keys or the keys are not working then you need to make sure you break you break through. You break through. But they are keys. Now, remember the scripture I once gave you with God made everything beautiful in its time. The beauty of the thing is in its not in your time, in the time of the thing. So we must have an understanding of the time given to the thing by God, where the thing then has to bring out its beauty. So an understanding of the time that God has put into the thing. This is why we have long-term plans or long-term businesses and short-term the long and the short. This is a description of the tenure, of the time that the business is going to take you. So if you're saying things are taking me too long, what was the description of the idea of the business? Are you aware before you even start a business? If it's a long term, Already that's the description you have to be there for a longer time. Because the beauty of that business is in its time, not your time, in its time. So also what brings delay to most of the people is lack of, we are, most of the people that I've seen so far are <laughs> unqualified for the jobs that they're doing. Majority, this I can tell you, most of the people, you hire them for a service, you realize they, they were not really trained. They did not spend 30 years for a three-year assignment. There is no time that they have spent with themselves to develop themselves so that they become better. So this is going to bring a delay in what you do. But those moments where you are having a delay, what are you doing to yourself? Work on yourself. Improve on yourself. Develop yourself. They, actually, God might be involved in some of these delays. You and I, we can agree that there is a certain assignment that you wouldn't want to take because you know that you are unqualified for that. 
Okay? Yet that assignment can give you more money than what you are getting today. But you, are, you know that you are not qualified. The, I, I like the, a gentleman who was a steward, who was a keeper, a custodian of the money that was not even his. And when he realized that he was about to lose his job, he said, uh, <clears throat> I know what I would do. Okay? I know what I would do. One thing that he said, he said to dig, he mentioned two things, to dig and to borrow. Hmm. These are things that I'm not interested in doing. I'm, 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 I cannot dig. Now, <laughs> lest you dig and you dig and you dig and you don't get results and it takes you longer than expected. What you should have done is to know what you cannot do. It's not enough for you to know what you're capable of doing. Also, know what you can not do. Luke 16, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Then the steward said within himself. He said this within himself. What shall I do? What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I'm about to lose my job. So what shall I do? That this is plan B now. After I've lost this position, what am I going to do? It's doing. What am I going to do? do. Uh -huh. I cannot dig. Take note of that word, do. Right? I can what? I cannot dig. He tells you what he cannot do. It's a very powerful principle in life. Know the things that you cannot. Lest, lest you waste your time. He, this guy was qualified. He was a financial person. He has a list of things that he knows. I cannot do. So he will not try to offer service where digging is required mm. and expect a breakthrough there. <laughs> know what you cannot do. The, most of these things that you say, it's taking me too long. Do you belong there? Can you dig? <clears throat> to dig, I cannot dig. To beg, uh, <laughs> to beg, I am ashamed. He knows, he's aware of his weakness. I'm ashamed. I would like to beg, but I'm, I'm not even... Some of you, you know, you, you can't even ask for money because even your thank you is not sufficient. You, you don't even know how to appreciate even if God is to give you somebody who is going to help you with money. You must know yourself, even if I'm to get help from other people. This is how you know that you're not good at begging. This is not just, I'm not just, just talking about begging, no. You have received financial help from people. But your thank you is proof that you are not a good, good beggar. Even if you were to beg, you would not survive on begging. This guy knows I cannot beg. Dick. I cannot dig, and to beg I am ashamed. I'm ashamed. So when it comes to doing, let me add another scripture there. Most of the people today, if you notice that there is a very powerful principle that Jesus um, mentioned when he was on the cross. He said, forgive them for they know not what they Luke 23, 34. No, let's not go there. Yet, there was a doing. This is, this is serious. This is serious. People can go on to do what they know not. There is a lot of doing right now as we speak in businesses, in ministries. It, 
You thought if you find a person doing, he knows what he's doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to what Jesus said. Forgive them for they know not what they do. do. They still go on to do. With no knowledge of what they are doing. This causes a, a delay. This is the creator now revealing this to us that people have that capacity. They wake up in the morning. They leave their towels wet. Going to do what they know not. Not knowing did not stop them from doing. Some of you not having sufficient knowledge did not stop you from investing in that business. You still went on to invest. You sold your car, you put the money into what you know not. Sold your house, you put the money into what you know not. All that I'm saying here is I want to look into your 30 years before the three year business. What are you doing during your quiet moments when everyone is away and you think you have a spirit and people have abandoned you, no one is interested, no one is calling you, you look at your phone from morning till evening, there is no missed call. You think there is a demon involved, right? But God is saying what 30 years of a wilderness what you do with those quiet moments will determine your impact within three years. Three years. Make yourself the best for the business that you are running. Make yourself the best for the business that you are running. Make yourself the best. The best. It's taking me too long to make money. Why? That's the question. If you are the best, why? Why are people not interested in doing business with you? They like the product, they like the service, but are you the right person if you spend 30 years qualifying yourself for the job? For they know not what they do. And they keep on doing. They keep on doing. Look at how much is being put into what is not known. Look at how much time people are putting into what they know not. I'm in ministry today. I've spent time wanting to understand the challenges that I was going to face in ministry. <laughs> Where is that delay coming from? And the reasons for your success, do you have the right reasons? You're saying you've got a lot of family members that are looking up to you. Is that the right reason? I'm not saying it is the wrong reason, but I'm just saying is that the right reason? And already she was almost crying because she's saying they are all looking up to me. She's already under pressure. And in that level of pressure, you cannot perform. There is no business that you can run under that kind of pressure. You have people that you want to impress. So your pace is not according to you, it's according to their demand. You are under pressure.
Why have you assumed that responsibility? Why are they looking up to you? These are your sisters, these are your brothers, you are not their mother, you are not their father. <laughs> As you grow in business, you must understand when God blesses you and God gives you whatever God is going to give you, people must know when, when to come in so that they can start to benefit. They must give you space. Okay? They must come at the right time. After you have been established, when you are now strong, it will even be you inviting them to come. There is a time for that. Just like when you plant um, a, a tree, you know up to a certain period of time there is no fruit that you will ever get from the tree. There is a time that you can't even climb the tree. Trying to climb the tree at that point, you are squashing the tree. You are stepping on the tree. You are killing the tree. But our concept in Africa, the month that you get a job, already they want to know where are you staying. They are coming there. This is what, this is a major problem that we have. This is why it will be so difficult to have a deliverer in a family setting. We don't give each other space and time to grow, to mature, and to be strong. So that pressure is not good for you. You need to relax. The only thing that that pressure can do is to help you make mistakes. It means somebody did not do his job. Because look now, it's no longer, you no longer, you're no longer putting on the sister jacket. You have multiple jackets. It means somebody did not do his job well. Someone didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> there is the right mindset that you must have when you approach an idea. If you, if you had given me an example of what you're trying to do that has taken you that long, then I would look into that and help you improve if you see there is a delay is it because the delay is in the time or the delay is coming from your lack of self-improvement self-improvement when we talk of if it's a product that you are selling <clears throat> or it's a product that you are producing. Before we get to the value that you add to the product, now, how much value have you added to yourself? Because that's the value that you transfer to your product. Value addition, self value addition. Improving yourself on a daily basis so that you are forever, you are perpetually needed in the market. Don't relax, don't fold your hands. Somebody's going to come with a better approach and you'll soon become history. But how deep have you gotten in terms of establishing yourself in that market so that newcomers cannot 
outrun you in a moment. Settling, establishing yourself so that you know you are in that business and you are in that business for good. It would be difficult for a newcomer to overtake you. The only way you can achieve that is when you have developed yourself, add value to yourself. My brothers and sisters, study, read, improve yourself, not in every other thing, what you know to do, know the things that you can do, to dig, I can't, to beg, I'm ashamed, have a list of things that you know I'm not good at that. And at the end of the day, you know what you are good at. And you put your focus, your time, your energy into that which you know to do. And you invest, you invest in what you want to do. Invest in that. Are you listening to this? This is what is going to bring speed to the business. The speed of the business is derived from the business person. You lend speed to your business. Your business will get its speed, its, its power from the person, from the business person. The business woman, the business man. You hand over speed to the, it's up to the business person. You decide how fast your business is going to, to move. You decide that. It's not just up to the business. You decide that. You decide that. Some of you, it takes you too long. Why? Because you, you are not good at multiplying a proven concept. Duplicate. You can't be having a business that is giving you $10 profit a day. And it's so consistent, you know, every day you have $10 as profit. What needs to follow is not a fresh business. It's simply duplication of the same concept, proven, have that same idea in two, three, until you have 10 different locations. The only thing that you need to do is to look for, you still have the same traffic that you are having here. You have it in Kuwazana. You have it in Mfakos. You have it in Zivarasekwa. So it's one concept that has given you $10 every day. So what you need to do now, you have to channel all of your resources to a proven concept. It's no longer even a concept. Now, this is an established idea which is giving you money on a daily basis, $10. But $10 is not, it's not sufficient. So what do you do? Until you have 20 different units doing the same thing that you are doing. And you being one person, so it's $10 times 10. In that same one day, and the problem why some of you cannot even increase in terms of your capacity is because you are a one-man band. Everything has to revolve around you. It has to be you doing it, you selling it, you supplying it, you, you producing you. That is why now you, have, you are lacking in terms of your capacity to do the same thing. Look at Jesus where he is today. Everyone is in how many churches today? Yet in every church, if we are to pray today, all of us can, we can experience his presence. Why? He has developed himself so that his presence is felt in every unit, in every branch. So your capacity, your ability in terms of your management skills so that you are present in every unit that you create. Then you start getting more money. But we get stuck. That's why there is a place in the Bible where they said we have dwelt for too long in this mountain. We get used to an old way of doing things and we resist changes. 
we, we fight increase because of our, we are limited in terms of our, because you feel like I'm, now I'm no longer sure of what they are doing in that, in that department. You always want to be there. Ah, it's a small mindset. Amen. Yet, you can be there in terms of systems and structures. You are still present. Why is it that you have done something in terms of business that has given you money? If the money is little, that's okay. It has to be little. But then how do you multiply that? You start working on multiplying something that you have done that gives you money every single day and then you put more resources into that. Put money into that. Are you following this? Do you know there's a guy who is probably doing a very, very good business and maybe the business is just, it's just a one shop in town. Maybe it's just one restaurant, yet their food is the best. Why not have that in Mashingo? Why not have another one in Mutare? Why not have another one in Chagutu? Why not have another one in Murewa? Why not have another one? It's a proven... But the reason why certain people, they get stuck to that one thing is because they lack what? Capital. You need capital to start a business. You also need capital for the expansion of the business. But some of us, we are blind because we think the only source of capital is the bank. Or I need to find a financier. Huh? And then you get stuck. No one is interested in giving you more money so that you can open another outlet some way. So you're stuck. You're doing the same business in that same place. Everyone who comes there, even if we hear that that place has been bombed, we know you're dead. <laughs> you wake up every morning <laughs> going to that one little office for how many years? What have you been doing? It has to be a little... Con That's why God had given Adam a concept called Eden. So that he would multiply and fill not Eden, but the whole earth. With what? Eden. These are branches. An extension of the garden until it occupies the entire surface of the earth. It's a good concept. So your little office, you can't be running a business for five, ten years. And there's no multiplication. Yet you have realized little profit from that little business. Now make it big. Not in terms of increasing the office, no. Other units doing the same thing. But how do I, how do I get to that level now? That's the question. Because you need capital injection. I know it's a, you, might, you need to ask that question. Thank you for asking anyway. You, you need... But... If you want to increase in what you are doing, before you start to think of your brother giving you money, your sister giving you money, the bank giving you money, there is already somebody who is ready to give you money, but he will give you money in another form. Are you following? Some of you here, you know what they call uh, supplier credit. Huh? Yeah. The supplier credit. It's credit. The supplier, the supplier. If what you're doing, let's say you're selling wigs. Okay, let me. <laughs> so somebody's giving you 20 wigs every month and you're selling those wigs and probably you're getting i don't know how much how much are you selling those wigs for and the profit that you are getting 
and you realize that you still have more clients more than what you can supply you can't be doing that for two years and not think of getting what is known as the supplier credit the person giving you the wigs there must be an agreement because for two years you have been working together buying from him you can go there and get credit not in terms of money but 20 more weeks on top of the 20. That's an investment. Already he's promoting you for another expansion. We, you don't need to pay for 40. You only pay for 20 and he gives you the other 20 on credit. You haven't gone to the bank to ask for money to buy more wigs. No. The supplier, the person who has been helping you. Okay? So, so con consider that also. People that you already have in that business can help you expand the business. They can help you. Some of you might think, uh, what if he's not interested in giving you those extra 20 weeks on credit? He's in business. He's producing those things so that he sells. He's interested. Try it. He's interested. But you want to go to the bank so that you get it in cash and then you misdirect the funds. <laughs> you know yourself, if it comes in form of money, you are going to consume it. Get some wigs. Let's see if you are going to put them in a pot and cook wigs. <laughs> know yourself. Know that I cannot dig, I cannot beg. <laughs> What's the product? What's the product? Who is supplying the product? And you can have an agreement. And they can give you those items in advance and you start paying off because now you are selling, you, are, you, you have them in, in huge supplies and your profits are also high and then you come back and you, you service the loan that you got, not in terms of, it, it's not even money. But sometimes we wait and we wait and we wait for an investor. But the person that is supplying you those goods would want you to buy even more from him. So you can always have an agreement. Not on the onset. Please, you don't do this. You don't order items from me today and then tomorrow you come. You say, I've heard of a supplier credit. <laughs> no. It's based on trust. And also time, the 30 year tenure that we have been together, you proving to be faithful. Now I can entrust you with 20 more extra weeks without you having to give me money. Because for two years we've been working together. You've proven yourself to be a, a principled business person. So when it comes to extending and expanding what you're doing, the little thing, if you are here and you are doing, running a business and you are guaranteed of $2, $3 every day, that's a good business. You start from there. If you need $6 a day, do the same thing. Get your muzukuru waka gara umusha wako even wama uto siya kumba iwe nduwe mboye waka gara pa msika urutenge sauriwe unis wazukuru hobo so waka siru wana Get your nephew, get your niece that you left in the village and bring them on board so that they can help you Wana wako, wana wako wengo zara wajungo uru wajungo unza shiwa na pamba ni chine Your family members keep on producing more relatives for you so All that, don't take it as a burden, it's tough ya wai, ya wai kriyetero Don't consider that a burden, that is tough that is being created for you So you know, you know it's an apprenticeship. For, for six months. So Jesus yes. read change, you why change, Then we was a distributor, one six my different units. So you enroll them in an apprenticeship for six months and you show them how the business is run and then you spread so, them out. So how do I how do I increase? Because God has already given you something. That, that is proven. That gives you the slightest 
profit, the slightest, my brother, the slightest. Real money is not into millions. No. Every millionaire that you see today, what is a million dollars? It's one dollar after another, after and on top of each other. It's dollar, dollar. Some of you right now, you know your money, your income, your monthly, your weekly income is too much fixed. You know this is what is coming. You are guaranteed. And you are stuck in there for how long now? What are you doing? What are you doing? So try to go back to those basics. If you try, if you see this business is too slow, taking too long. Probably you are not the owner of that business. Go back to your business. Know what you can do to dig. I can't. To borrow, I'm ashamed. But this I will do. Identify now what you can do. Are you following? Yes. So, there are people today who are making millions of dollars and you look at the nature of the businesses that they do. Majority of those businesses. I can tell you this. Yes, you can wake up today and you say, I want to get into uh, probably mining. It will require a lot of money. You say, I want to do earth-moving equipment. You are thinking of bulldozers, excavators. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But there are certain commodities. There are things that people are bound to buy. Start from those basic things, food. Before you even get to clothing, Food. Food. Right now, I can tell you, I don't know in terms of percentage, at this time, look at your watch, somebody has eaten. What is it that people are forced to use on a daily basis? A bar of soap. Toothpaste. What? Look at items that people ask. It's a must. They have to use it. So now, let me ask you this question. Imagine people have eaten this morning. In the afternoon, they'll be eating. In the evening, they'll be eating. And you are guaranteed that market will never be closed. You are rest assured that every single day, someone is consuming a product that is not coming from you. And you complain there is no money in circulation. God gave appetite to his people. That was the creation of the market. So that no matter what they say about you or against you, they will still have to eat. Know how the system works. For instance, let's say, let's say I ask for money from you. Oh, can, can you give me some, can you give me 10,000 US dollars so that I can put into my business and you say you are not interested. Sit down, sit down, sit down. What I do now is to, I have to visit the financial system that God has put in place by the human hands. There is already a system that is able to give me your 10,000 US dollars that you are not interested in giving me. If I ask you for 10,000 and you can't give it to me, I will have to ask a system, a financial system in place. And that financial system can get that $10,000 from you and give it to me. That is how banks operate. If you have money that you can't use and you take that money into the bank, 10,000 US dollars that you deposit into the bank, how do the banks make money? They lend the money. Somebody comes in to get the 10,000. I asked you for 10,000. You said you are not interested, right? And I wait for you because, and you go and you make a deposit into the bank. 
Then I will visit the financial system. It is your 10,000 that you said you will never give to me. I will get it from the system, from the bank. Then I will put the money into my, my business. Still, it is your money that you said you will never give to me. But because you, have, you believe so much in banks, and you think putting money into the bank is an investment. Maybe in other countries in terms of interest, but from, <laughs> but, <laughs> also to a certain extent, you can't avoid having your monies flow through legitimate systems. It will come after you after years. Because again, remember, your financials are supposed to be uh, credible. They must be. Some of you today, you know, certain banks can open certain lines of credit and you can't access. Yet you have been in business for five years, 10 years, 20 years. Why? Because your financials are not good. You, you have been avoiding a proper financial system that God himself has put in place. For instance, let's say you have been making profits and you, you were under-declaring your profits annually. There comes a time you need to borrow against what you were making. This, this, there will come a day you wish you were paying your taxes well. There will be a day. So if you do a business and you make sure that you are submitting your taxes well, it's like you're losing today, but there will come a time, there will be an opportunity, a facility that you will require, they will look into your remittances. And that becomes your credibility that you have been in business for this long and this is how much you have made based on your taxes. Any bank would want to give you money. Five years, ten years. The repayment plan. But it's coming from your credibility that you would have built by going through established systems. But today, we avoid. There's too much conniving happening in the businesses that we are currently running. But I'm saying to you that there's a day that you wish that you had those financial records. And when that day comes, small, small, small companies. You'll see that so many small companies. financial institutions, or a big organization, will be able to receive help but from But no one is willing to help you grow from where you are. Why? Because when you smart. Because you thought you were clever. So build your reputation, credibility. All this, these are the reasons why my business is actually no no. Then you come here, Motis and Songs Rudi, Sunu can do the breakthrough. This is why businesses are delaying, and then you come here and say that my things are delaying, I need a breakthrough. Hear me? A principle that you are willing to serve will save you. A principle you violate will violate you. A principle you seek to kill will come after your life. Principles should never be fought. Don't fight principles. Work with principles. Work with certain principles. How long does it take for a person doing that kind of a business to make a million dollars? Be realistic. How long does it take? How long? Agree with that principle the principle that has been attached to that idea, that kind of a business, then, and don't violate it. Don't do shortcuts. Don't. Don't. A 
is taking too long. What are you selling? What are you selling? Any product you can, there is no one product with a fixed price. There is no one product with one price. Not even one. Not even one product. The price keeps on increasing. Somebody comes and he buys your one kg of gold for 50,000. And then he's buying it because he wants to sell it. But the person buying it from you has no exporter license. Somebody with an export license comes and he buys it from you. You got it for 50,000. He buys it from you for 55,000. Why is he buying it from you? Because he wants to sell it. It's all about selling. He takes it to Dubai. Probably they buy it maybe for 70 or maybe 80,000. Uh, 80, and who is, who is buying it? Why are they buying it? Because they want to also what? So there's no fixed price. And all they do from that one kg, probably they make only 10 neck chains. And each is costing $100,000. They've made a million. It's the same gold. And at the, the end product, if you look at the end product, it's not even gold at its purest form. It has been mixed with other minerals because it has to be strong if you put 100% gold as a ring it will have scratches so they are putting on cheaper materials and it becomes even more expensive and whoever is going to buy that ring if it doesn't mean that the, 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 the neck chain is now worth 100,000 it keeps on increasing in terms of value depending on who buys it if it's going to be on the neck of the queen of England it's going to be auctioned for how much? 50 million. 100 million. It keeps increasing depending on who has it. So you transfer value. The value that you have accumulated, it's a personal value that you put on products. It's a personal value. All these items, they borrow value from suppliers. From suppliers. People are waiting to buy from you. As you leave this place and you see people walking up and down, chat, chat, that, that's a market. That's a market. If there's no market, you create the market. Like I've told you before, we never thought there was need for a cell phone. There was a time there was, not, there was no need. We would write each other letters. See today if you can even forget your phone at home. You go back. It's a terrible day. You can't live without a cell phone. Yet there was a time when you'd not even think of such an item in your pocket. It means somebody saw a need which we never thought we had. And they created a market we thought was not even there. So you can actually, God, can, God has given people abilities to not only supply the demand, what is being demanded, even the demand itself, the creation of the market. God has given people power to create for there to be a demand. Let there be light for there to be a demand. For people to need your product, you have that power. So some are in prayer for 21 days and they are fasting, waiting upon the Lord to get new ideas. No, pick on old ideas, improve them. Perfect. Drive around town, see businesses that you can improve on. It's not all about starting something new. No, find businesses that are struggling and buy them. Buy shares in there. Improve them. Just little, little, just few renovations and you take over the business. You become a shareholder. You, it's an idea. You've been to places where you see people queuing just so that they buy chips, chicken and chips. Yet that's the only unit that you know. It's not over there, it's not over there. It's not. You approach people like that. 
Why do we always? Because we've tested your product. It's on demand. Mm. But you have no capacity to what? To multiply it. Let's have five more units like this. And I'll have 70%. Yeah. And you're busy thinking of a new idea. New idea. That's how ideas come to you. Some of them, you, you go to them. You visit ideas. There are people that are wasting ideas. <laughs> it's like Canaan, a place that was already occupied before. <laughs> it's like Canaan, a place that was already occupied before. So, don't let people deceive you. Don't let people make you think they have no money. Even if people are struggling, they still have money. Just go into the market knowing that there is money. Available. If you say there is no money, if you say there is no money, <laughs> the moment you start saying the zig doesn't work, Do you know, once people say this is not going to work, it might not work, not because it was not going to work, but because they said it would not work. All that is needed is for people to believe and to trust. And if people are to put their confidence even in something that doesn't work, it will work. How do I know that? How do I know that? It's not the value that the money comes carrying. It is, it is what we agree upon. Okay? I gave, you, I gave you this as an example that when it comes to precious minerals, precious metals, it was people who voted gold into power. It, it was not something that the mineral was carrying. We agreed that there must be value in this thing. It, it's us. So any piece of paper that is introduced, if we are to agree and we transfer value into any piece of paper, it will work for the economy. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. It's up to us, the people. We agree that there is no value in this thing. Then value is what? Transferred. Why is there value in a Rolex watch, but in a Casio watch. It was agreed upon. It's not even in the materials used. You can have more gold in a cheaper watch. This is why big brands are selling because people have voted. People have agreed, they've transferred value into a proven brand. And you come up with a nicely well-designed material, it will still, still be cheaper than Gucci. Why? People have what? Voted. 
Everything that has value on the earth, it got its value from the people. That's why Jesus talks about the sacrifice on the altar. That it is the altar that gives value to the sacrifice. And Jesus talks about the gold on the temple. And he says it is the temple that gives value to the gold. We are the temple. We give value to any currents of our choice. U.S. dollar has power because of the Americans. It is the Americans. Matthew 23, verse 16. Mm. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Mm -hmm. Ye fools yeah, and fools. blind. Yeah. For whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. So what sanctifies the gold? The temple. The temple. It is the temple that makes the gold precious. Yeah. Had we voted for granite, it would have been exp the most expensive yeah. metal today. But we looked at scarcity. It was in short supply. So we said because it's limited in its supply, so we put more value. It's us. So we must adopt this culture even as a nation. When an idea is put forth, it is now up to the people to vote that idea into its effectiveness. If we become negative and negative and negative, everything turns out to be negative. We have to agree. How come there was a, okay, look at other countries, they, they embark on a project and they spend billions of dollars sending people to the moon. They are not going to bring us any groceries from there. They know there are no sh shopping malls there. Yet they put billions just so that a man from their nationality can set foot on the moon. Yeah. To them it means a lot. It adds value to the nation. To the nation. Yeah. It's up to us if you decide today that you are of value you are not going to wait for gold to come. And then you say, I'm now of more value because I have more money. I'm now a millionaire. No. You transfer the value to millions of dollars. Money doesn't bring any value to you. It is that concept that keeps you broke. You are waiting for money to arrive so that you can realize your value. Yet, money should arrive so that it realizes its value from from you. You are the temple that sanctifies the the gold. You are needing money, my sister, my brothers, you are needing money today so that you can be of value. It's a wrong approach. Gold has to be brought to the temple so that it is sanctified by the temple. When you then go out there, you're doing business with that mentality. Look at that, that mentality. Yeah. Look at that mentality. It makes you bigger than money, bigger than any transaction, bigger than your business. You know you're approaching every transaction with so much confidence. You know you are the temple. You are the temple. So, my clothes are deriving value from me. My car is deriving value from me. My house is deriving value from me. That's a better approach. As a child of God, that's how you think. And you see opportunities opening up for you now. Unlike before, 
it was so clear that you were in there as a slave. You were you are too desperate for money. Don't behave like that. You're a child of God. I'm giving you a list of things that might be delaying you. Hence seeking breakthroughs. When are people ever going to break through? How many prayers? How many deliverances? How many anointing oils? <laughs> because someone is not telling the people the truth. Identify the right formula. Whether people hate you or they like you. There are people today who would not want to hear the name Makandio. Mm. They, don't, they don't want to hear it. Mm. Yet they are eating my product and every single day. <laughs> every day. I will not give you a list of products that they have to consume because of Makandio. Yet they don't want to it's only this church is only one product that they, they don't want. It's just one product. Mm. <laughs> we'll meet somewhere else. Yeah. It's just one. Ah. <laughs> so who said if God is to give people under you, they, they will all have to come to, to your ministry? Who said that? It's a misunderstanding. You open other ministries of different nature. Don't come here, but then you will still meet. And when they see you coming, you They say, Makandio is coming to get your money. <laughs> Even when they are going, they are going to be handing over that money. Be business minded. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. Do businesses out there. You should have asked me. Prophet Inda Mazono Mangu Pota Mishipari Zamishtari Satai. Prophet, why is it these days you're always preaching and you're always looking at your time? And I go my bus. God then, go to your jobs. We don't go to a teacher church every day. We don't do church every day here. No. Man's going to show him. You've had a lot of the words. Diamond Eaters, Ramaga. So Go and do what you have heard. Yes. Yes. So I want to go up a corner to what you don't show one. What I want to do, I'm tired of the pass. Egg. Don't tell the pass. Don't sit there and complain about how people are overlooking and undermining you. What do you have? Yes. The one who always look down upon you. Why? Because I was a sausage, I was a mazai, I was a fry kunwa, I was orange juice, a pana. Because you are not any commodity. Without it, way. Why do you want people to love you? Without it, way. Why should they love you? I want to write Vunzara Paduza and Oti, Mudaudiwa, Mudaudiwa. No, let's talk about this as the person next to you. You want people to love you, you want people to want you for what?
may be seated. Don't rest on your laurels, yes. don't sit on your hands. What we are doing in the churches is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. My messages are very, very dangerous. Our messages are very dangerous. We hype certain things and people feel like, ah, 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 ah. The trumpet is about to sound, Jesus is about to return. But we must really be terrified because what if he delays? <clears throat> we have to be very careful. Here I dismiss everything. I got to occupy until I when he went he didn't care. Do business until I. So he's telling you that doing a business is not a sin that you are committing. Making money is not adultery, my brothers. Go and make some money. Making money doesn't fall under fornication. Please, make money. We can correct this issue of delay, 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 delay. No. Now we are going back. What are we going to do? We are going to add value to ourselves. How do I add value to myself? I'm going to study that area better. I want to become bigger. I want to become a force in that market. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. That's why the Bible talks about if you want to gain mastery over any territory, you have to show commitment. Yeah. Commitment. Mm. 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 There are people who have mastered areas of which they are now at a level where even after a lady, a certain lady, after she got blind, she's still one of the biggest hairdressers. Mm. Anuruka still has mm. She's still a hairdresser despite now being blind. Akabata food, Zakasia Zumas, to dig, I cannot. Mm. To beg, I'm shy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But this one thing I would do, mm. isn't that what Paul said? Mm. One thing I will do, mm. I will push, I will press to forgetting those things behind. It's a, it's a principle of focus. Until you have a woman that is blind who can work on your hair beautifully with no eyesight. That's mastery. That's mastery. 1 Corinthians 9.25 And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in, in all, all things. things. You see? You want to gain. Right now, you are at a level of just doing it ordinarily. It's standard. But now you want to gain mastery. Mm, mm. What do you do now? Feed your brains. Mm. Feed your mind. Understand the area. That's why you see people that have been in the market, some of them have been doing what, what, whatever it's, whether it's forex trading or whatever, or exchange, they call it exchange something. Even if there's an introduction of something, they, today they come, they tighten up the system. It takes two, three, four, five days. These guys, they have a way. They have a way of bouncing back. Why? They've been in the system long enough. They've mastered the turf. Yeah. 
Be there long enough until you know. You can be disrupted for one week. Things are out of order. You know, you are not. Now, there is, there is uncertainty in terms of the exchange rate. But something along the way, because they, they've remained there. Stay there. Remain there. Until you gain mastery. Mastery. So some of you, now you're thinking of a better idea. Why? Because the idea that you're working on today is giving you little money. No. Don't think of a fresh idea. How do we multiply? How do you multiply? You have already been shown by God that this thing can work. When I got my first born, I realized that it is doable. Mm. <laughs> so, by needing more, I didn't look for a new idea. I went back to a proven concept. <laughs> Open branches. Ah. 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 Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Ah, you can do better for Jesus. So, so you're coming, you sow your seed, put your seed on the altar. In the tents, we have our altars over there. You're going to put your seed on the on the altar. Yes, the altars are open. What's happening? Quiet. Father, you Father, we had quite a lot of questions from the online community watching. Huh. Maybe we could pick a few for, for our service next week. Or they are on, or online? Online viewers also. Ah, okay, okay. Online. We'll continue. I'll be online. I'll be. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I think there are, even here we still have a lot of questions from here. But at least we have touched on something very critical. People of God, you need to go back, re-look into that idea, multiply your profits. Please, open branches, increase your capacity, establish your presence in different locations, master the territory. Be an authority in that area. It's an anointing already given to you today. Ah, it's an anointing for territories given to you today. Do you believe that? So, if you have a seed in your hand, let me pray for you. Choir, you are giving us a song while I'm praying for our people at the back. Put a seed in your hand. Let me see it. Yes, I can see. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for sowing. Let me see it. Thank you for bless you. 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 I appreciate you for that. Thank you so much for sowing. Thank you 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 for sowing. Lord bless you. Lord keep you. The Lord multiply you. Lord increase you. Lord guide you. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm expecting to hear double testimonies. Double increase. Double profits. <laughs> double profits. Double profits. Double profits. 
double profits. Double profits. Do I have people here? Waruda kuti. Chese chichajgiwa, chichanuiwa, chichapfekwa. That everything that shall be eaten, that shall be drunk, and that shall be worn. I want to be a supplier. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. The grace is available today. That grace is available today. Now, choir, give us a good song. Everyone must be celebrating. We must be happy. We must be rejoicing in the presence of God. And, um, and I'm praying that every single day, every single hour that you are going to have, it's an opportunity for you to flourish. Every single day, your Monday will be an opportunity. Your Tuesday, your Wednesday, every single day, until you come back here, let every day give you a massive opportunity. Let every day grant you a major connection. Let every hour create a transaction for you. I don't want you to lack money in your life. And I don't want you to lack money. And the God that I serve will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Choir, give us a song. Let's be happy. Let's be excited. Let's be excited as we give to God. As we give to God, Father, I release the healing power now. Give us a song. If you are a parent, you want a light called destiny to shine upon your children. Don't allow us to have a camp meeting and your child is not there for any reason. There are things that God is about to do in your generation. All you need to do is to hand over your child. Trust us. We are going to work on the youth. This camp meeting, don't lose it for anything. It's almost here now. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it after, then you'll understand. We'll understand. Everyone who is going there will come back in flames flames <laughs> let's go to the camp let's go and camp let's go and camp there won't be any spirit any demon that will be able to stand before you again we are going to work on your case from the first day. Remember, we are not going home. We are on site until your destiny is settled. <laughs> S 
sick people are healed. Captives are set free. May your body be restored. I'm instructing every disease in your body to start dying now. Let every disease in your body, in your system, die now. From this minute, you are recovering. Back to normal. From this moment, very moment, you are coming back to life again. Choir, give us a song. Give us, continue, continue, continue. Give out a 